hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to make charming roses i hope you like and enjoy this video so without wasting time let's get started over here i have flour three cups of flour i'm going to add dry yeast teaspoon salt four cups of um, sugar and one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to mix them thoroughly. As you can see. After mixing them, I'm going to add one glass of water or cup. And start mixing our dough. And if you're new here consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell when i upload a new video you get the notification if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate it thank you so much and may god bless you kindly comment in the section below so after working on our dough you can see i'll go ahead and add 15 grams of unsalted butter i knead it until it is perfectly smooth kindly share the video so i've been working on it and it's smooth like that it has to be smooth for you to get the perfect uh, shape and the texture as well so after forming it into a round ball I'm going to cover it for one hour and let it rest and then after one hour I'll come and check on it cover that then after one hour it has doubled in size as you can see and pressing so that you can remove the air particles and form the round ball again Like that at this point now I'm going to cut it into two equal parts. If you have the uh, wing scale you can use it as well but as for me I'll just measure using my eyes. <laughs> okay after cutting them into two equal parts put that one aside and work on the last one. So because you are, you, you are making red roses, I'm going to add half teaspoon of um, food color and then blend it and mix it with the dough until it is perfectly combined like that. Red, very rich red. After that is done, I'm going to work on it and spread it to be as thin as possible. Sprinkle it a bit of flour. spreading it now at this point now I'm going to take a glass and cut it like that you press it uses a little bit of energy you cut it like that into small pieces not uh, hard to do this so easy
kindly subscribe to my channel and support me share my video please at this point now i'm going to remove the one and put it aside then i'm going to take these ones and put them in a tray and put it aside i'm going to start to work on the white one now i'll repeat the same procedure Just got to press it like that. Kindly subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I'm going to remove the outer layer and put it aside as well. So I'm going to take my comb, it's a new one, you need to get a new one purposely for this kind of work. So I'm going to press side by side, just like the way I'm doing. And because it is a red rose and white one, now we're going to mix them so that they can bring that color. We place the white one on top of the red one. You blend them like that. And then you start folding them nice and slow. Like that. I'm going to cut it now into two pieces. Like that. You can see here we have our rose. That's that's how you make a rose charming rose there we go it is so easy to make if you are used to making that is now this is our final results of our charming roses red and white they look so beautiful now we're going to fry them in a pan or cooking pot or sufuria you can you will add vegetable oil a good amount then you'll start deep frying your red roses, charming roses. That's how they look when they are cooking, very beautiful, bright colors. And the aroma as well is good in here. If you like my recipe kindly, you can comment in the comment section below.
you need to make sure that they turn um, brown like this They look yummy and beautiful. You can try this recipe. I'm going to put the second bunch. Look at the way they are popping up. It's so beautiful. Can make this to your family especially kids they love bright colors and i bet they will enjoy The best thing about the recipe is that it's not expensive, it's something within your reach and you can get it from your home and surprise yourself. This is our final charming grocery results and they look perfect, beautiful roses and beautiful color and the aroma is good as well and they taste yummy as well. It's perfect for the holidays. It's the holidays. You can make it for your family. Birthdays as well. If you have watched up to this point, I'm really grateful. And thank you so much for your support. I don't take it for granted. May God bless you. I really appreciate the support. And the words of encouragement. And for always being kind. And coming back to my channel. Let's, let us try one and see. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Please. Look at that charming rose. Let's cut and see. Ooh, the color is so beautiful and perfect. It has blended so well. Look at that perfect color. The red one. It looks so good and soft. Give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.